Now we are joined by our beauty expert, Trudy Brewer, who's got the beauty swaps that we need to make for summer. Morning, Trudy. Good morning. It is lovely to have you in the studio. Oh, thank you. I'm feeling festive today. Are you? Yeah. Because what, summer's on the way? Yeah, and Christmas and all that. You know. Yeah, well, it's not actually, it's 40 something yeah. sleep, so it, if that, so it's not very far away right. at all. Um, let's talk about why we need to change our beauty routine coming into summer. I think we need to change it because our skin is changing. I mean, essentially, our skin changes from season to season. You know, in winter, it's colder, you're going in and out of air conditioning, so your yeah. skin is drier. In the summer, you're struggling with humidity in New Zealand, so while you need moisture, you need less oil. So I think really it's about listening to your skin and just tweaking it. It's not a complete change, it's just a tweak. So what is it a very complicated thing to be doing? No, I don't think so. I mean, it starts with skin. I always say to people, if you're going to invest in something do and you're going to do some new beauty shopping, go with skincare really, because your skin is so important. If you've got beautiful skin and it's radiant and hydrated and looks good, you need less makeup. So yeah. skin is really important. I mean with makeup there is that switch from powder to cream and we can talk about that in a minute but it really starts with skin and I guess I start with cleansing because that's really important getting off any of that oil and sweat and you know you know summer you do yeah. get a little bit sweatier than you do in winter so very much so start with a cleanser now I use a foaming cleanser in summer in the shower yeah oh I do that too and you brought some in for us I today, didn't did it? I did so this is a new one from Shiseido their premium future solution range um it's got Sakura um um, cherry tree blossom extract Ooh. and a lovely emi herb which is really from the ancient Japan. Oh it smells nice. The thing I like about a foaming cleanser is that you've got to work it into the skin so while you're working it into the skin you're naturally giving your skin a bit of exfoliation. Okay, um, keep talking I'm just going to find a tissue. <laughs> <laughs> and there's two schools of thought on exfoliation. A lot of people say they love it, a lot of people say it's actually not that great if you're overly vigorous so it okay. can be quite damaging if your skin is dry. So be gentle. Okay. Be gentle. Um, all these products are new so I thought we'd talk new things this yeah. week. Yeah. Um, our favourite. Can I pick this one up? Do it. All I can do is smell this. The whole time we've been talking I've just been smelling this. I wanted to comment on it. At the shrine of pure Fiji. Oh. So this is your coke new flavour and it's insanely beautiful. Coconut and lime. It's like a beautiful. cocktail that you would drink. That's like it's a tropical so island right there. Um, and this is their famous sugar rub. Now you know how to use this because I know it's one of your favourites. You yeah. just sit, sit it in some hot water, warm it up so the, the coconut oil melts and the sugar melts. Now I don't. I actually use this on my face as well, and I tell you how I use it. I wait till it melts and the sugar melts, and I use the oil and sugar combo as a liquid, and I just ex gently exfoliate my skin because the sugar's got salicylic acid in it, which is a gentle exfoliant, and the coconut oil is hydrating. So oh. it's not just reserved for your body. I mean, pure Fiji will probably kill me for saying that, but I use it all over. Oh, it is so delicious. Yeah, I mean, it smells amazing. Uh, what's this one? Brand new from Avene. Now, moisture. Your skin needs moisture. This is full of water, so it's really hard. I mean, you feel it. It's like a gel texture. People forget that too don't they they think coming into somewhere their skin gets oilier that they don't need actual moisture but they do they do you really do need to moisturize your skin and I like another tip for me for summer is you layer on your skincare so don't rely just on a sunscreen you've got to hydrate your skin first so you go cleansing your serums or anything that you want to apply that you would normally use Beautiful. then you layer on your moisturizer and then you put on your sunscreen so it's sort of like layering your products gently over your skin okay. these are obviously very important two hot new sunscreens like these are real trend now towards a very sheer fluid and you can give those a shake they shake up mm. and they've they've got the murad is actually the city shield is beautiful it's got a slight tint to it now oh, we'll nice. talk about sunscreen later on because I could go on all day about sunscreen it's okay. my favorite product but that's got a little bit of a natural tint in it so that one is a is a physical screen right we're going to move on if we're going to get to the end of these products um, hair is really important um, here, the little the little pink one there. Hair masks. A lot of people don't use them anymore, but I love them. That's a new one for Matrix. One shot, five dollars. You know, great for your holiday bag. Those are so cute. They're oh, little patches. On the right page. Oh, so you can open them if you want. They're little patches. They're little kiwi fruit patches. They're little hydrating patches that you can put anywhere where your skin is dry. Gorgeous. Little Coco Star. Uh, a new natural heel balm, which is a New Zealand brand. Heel Fast. I love to keep my heels in shape. There's nothing worse than seeing dry heels in your new summer sandals. So popping that on at night with some socks is right, great I have, overnight. Yeah, my heels need a bit of work, that is for sure. What's this one? Um, new from Longcom. We were talking about makeup before. I like to swap out to a cream. And so if you've got your tinted sunscreen, you can just use that as you would a little concealer. Well, that's beautiful. Um, and that's the long-lasting Tante Adol mm. new range. Um, and I think finally we should talk about 
scent, that was one of the questions. Um, do you change your fragrance? And I think you do in summer. Really? What do you go lighter? You go lighter and fresher, and I am absolutely utterly in love with this new fragrance from Tiffany & Co. Hang on, let me just get the lid on, make it look Probably again. because it comes in a little blue box that you could put under your tree and pretend that you've got a yellow diamond in it. Not. <laughs> but, um, no, beautiful fragrance. Iris, really on trend. Iris and citrus blossom. It's it divine. smells beautiful. And now, very quickly, what's your best tip for summer beauty? I think go lighter, hydrate and always, always use sunscreen. I mean, you should be using sunscreen all year round, but honestly... It's mm. the best anti-aging product you can buy. And don't forget your lip balms either. And a great tinted option. Mm. Yeah, Burt's Burt's Bay is beautiful. And that's a little Christmas, early Christmas present for you. Oh, cute. How gorgeous. How Pop cute that on is your that? Christmas tree. That's everything a, your lips need from Burt's Bay. I can't get the lid back on because it's obviously yeah. Anyway, so gotta not, go. That I was an IQ moment. test, <laughs> which I failed. <laughs> Trudy, thank you so oh, much. What a lot you. of great products you've bought in for us to have a look at today. Pleasure. Uh, for more from Trudy, head to her website, bdeq.co.nz.